Hi guys, and welcome to another Vlogmas video, day 13, I believe. Um, I was gonna say I'm so excited, but like legit, like not that excited. Um, not about vlogging, just like my day um, has been going a little like all over the place. I woke up in a great mood today. Um, Okay, first of all, my name is Yaritza. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. If you guys have been watching all my Vlogmas videos, I am so, so, so grateful. You have no idea. I've been trying to grow this YouTube channel and really challenge myself with one video a day uh, for 25 days. So if you guys have been watching my Vlogmas playlist, you rock and I'm so grateful. Today is actually December 10th, so I've been pre-filming these videos. Like I'm only like a couple of days ahead. I like a filming and then my husband usually like edits my videos. So right now the video for tomorrow is still not edited. Um, he is working right now. He's shooting content for another brand. So when he gets home, he needs to finish editing my video so I can drop it tomorrow. December 10th is a special day for me and my family. It's, um, so a lot of people don't know this about me, but I had a brother. Um, he was my oldest brother. He was born on December 10th. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us and he passed away when I was 10 and a half years old due to suicide. And that has always just been like something that me and my family don't really talk about. It's just within us. People are actually really surprised when they hear the story because they think it's just me and my two sisters. But in reality, we had an older brother. Um, today he would have been 41 years old. What I like to do, as I am so far away from my family and out here in Los Angeles, I just turn on a candle as a tribute, honor, celebration. Um, I know he is looking at us. He's looking at me. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, it has been a really long time since this happened, obviously, but it's something that you kind of never get over. I was 10 and a half years old and I'm currently 35, so it's definitely been a long time. It's still a sensitive subject and topic, but this is why I feel like self-care, self-love, mental health is so important to me um, and why I always tell you guys to prioritize yourself because mental health should always, always, always be your number one priority. Always checking in on your friends because you just never know what someone is going through mentally. Let me just take a second. I'll, I'll be right back. And we are back. If you saw my video yesterday, you know that I did my nails, which was my $8 manicure. <laughs> And if you're interested, you can go watch it after this video. But when I showed Drew later, he was like, okay, that's so cute. What about those? Meaning my toes, which I have not gotten done in a while. So I'm going to call the nail salon that's down the street from my house and see if they're open. It will be nice to like get a pedicure. Like I haven't gotten one, like I think all year. So then give them a call. Hi, I just wanted to know if you guys were open. Have you been here before? Yes. Can you pay cash today, please? Yes, thank you. How do you when you've been here? It sounds kind of sketch. Or, I don't know. It's just like, you've been here before? Like, if they're not taking clients that have never been there before. So, obviously, I'm not going to tell you what salon it is because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I don't know if they're supposed to be closed or not. Obviously, I'm going to wear my mask. All right. We're getting a pedicure today, <laughs> yay! That's gonna be my form of self-care. So anyway, as I was telling you guys, this morning I woke up in a great mood and literally the first thing I said was, thank you God for another day, I am so grateful. I said my affirmations, I am beautiful, I am smart, and I am worthy of all good things in this world. That's literally what I said as I was getting out of bed and stretching, which usually I try to do, but I, I'm not consistent with my affirmations. Like if I write in my journal, sometimes I'll write it at the end just as a reminder, I am smart, I am beautiful, and I am worthy. But this morning I said it out loud, and it actually felt really good, and I got my morning started in on a good foot and so this is the agenda for today i am a study for 
my audition and I am then gonna get my nails done and then I'm gonna go get Starbucks. I want to try the Starbucks holiday drinks. My only problem is that I don't drink coffee. Like I just don't drink coffee. I don't have anything against caffeine. I just don't like the taste of coffee. So I think they have like some holiday drinks that are not uh, coffee based. So I'm gonna go check that out and see if I can get a couple of holiday drinks to try out. And I think that's gonna be my day. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I just got to the parking lot um, where I'm gonna go get my nails done. But I put my hair up and I'm gonna try like not to touch anything. I have my mask, I have like a double mask here. So I have this black one and then I'm gonna wear this fabric one on top. All right, I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. It did it you guys, I got a pedicure. Um, okay, so first of all, they it looks like it's closed because they have like all the windows boarded up so you can't see inside so you have and they have the door locked so once you call them and they'll open the door for you <laughs> once I went inside li literally what hit me was the smell you know how nail salons smell like that fume of just nail polish and the acrylic and all that stuff like that was so strong because of the ventilation like their doors are closed so but what I did realize is that they are like taking measures. They have the massage chairs, so they have eight and they're only using like, they're skipping one in between uh, clients and they do have Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi glass to like separate you from the next person. And, in, and they, so they have the Pepsi glass. It goes from the side to in front of you. So that's good. I did feel safe. It was hard to breathe because I was wearing a double mask. I literally tried not to touch anything. I had hand sanitizer, so obviously I sanitized my hand afterwards and it was nice. It was relaxing. It was literally so quick. 30 minutes. They're not really busy. They just had a couple of people in there, but I'm gonna show my nails to Drew when he gets home. Like, look, <laughs> I got my toes done. <laughs> got home and he brought us food from the corner bakery I didn't order anything from corner bakery I just told him to figure out what you want to eat and then just bring it home so he ordered corner bakery and he was like I got you the same thing from last time and I was like did you get me my cookie because last time I got a cookie and he didn't get me a cookie this time it's okay you still got food though. I love you. I love you. Okay, we're gonna eat. Look, I got my toes done. <laughs> That's what you wanted to show me? All this hype? Yes. Well, I didn't show them. I didn't show the people my toes. But I told them that you said when I got my nails done yesterday that you were like, "What about those?" <laughs> this whole time I'm like looking around. I was like, "What'd she get? Where'd she go? Did she get me a present?" No, my wife got toes. And then my toes done, as you guys know, because he told me that what about those? Your toes were busted yesterday. They were not busted, I just, they were like the nail. It was chipping chipped, off, yeah, busted? Yeah, uh -huh. it's not mm. normal. But anyway, I got them done. They're cute. I didn't show my toes because I don't want to show my toes on camera, I think that's weird. But I got like a neutral, like brown, shimmery color. I'm gonna kiss my toes. No! <laughs> So I finally got my makeup on to film my audition, I'm still studying. But first, let's go get the Starbucks. I hope you got my order right because <laughs> I think you, I don't know if I was not speaking loud enough or he couldn't hear me or I needed to stick my head out the window more. I need to put my mask on. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Got it. Did you want a peppermint mocha air freshener? No. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you have to take your back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful you night. You too. Honey, I have Starbucks. But your drink is hot. I asked for all of them cold. No, only one, and I'm assuming it's yours. And I said, he got it wrong. I said I wanted it with whipped cream and he didn't put whipped cream on it. I said the Frappuccino, isn't the Frappuccino cool? Anyway, I've never had a holiday Starbucks drink. So this is the toasted white chocolate cream Frappuccino. 
Moment of truth. I feel like it still tastes like coffee, a little bit. It's kind of watered down actually. It tastes like anything. And this one looks really frozen. This one is the peppermint mocha cream frappuccino. It tastes like water as well, but just like tastes like water down candy cane. I heard free coffee. This is your coffee. So I had that come. This is my coffee, yeah. the smallest one. <laughs> and it's hot. Yeah, I don't know. Because you didn't ask for it cold. Are you supposed to ask for it cold? I thought I asked for the blended beverage. This goes to show you that my wife doesn't go to Starbucks <laughs> very often. Yes. What'd they give you? They gave me a free... Uh, a car freshener? Car freshener. That's pretty cool. So now I can smell like your favorite, what, peppermint? I guess, let me see. Should I open it now? No, open it in your car. So, for someone who doesn't go to Starbucks ever, did you taste it? Yeah, I just did. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know what the hype is all about. <laughs> uh, like, I just feel like, okay, this one, I feel like it, it tastes a little bit like coffee and, I don't know, you taste it, I, like, and milk. It kind of tastes like they're like, strawberry and cream drink, except without the strawberry, it's just cream. And I also like. asked for no... I asked for no whipped cream on these two, and I asked for whipped cream on that one, and he put whipped cream on this one only. It tastes like watered down candy cane chocolate. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I ordered it with almond milk. Almond milk does does change it a bit. Instead of whole milk, like I don't know. Ooh. Uh. That definitely tastes water bound. I'm sorry, Starbucks, you, you did not come through today. Literally, this is my first time ever having a holiday Starbucks drink. I am disappointed. So that is my Starbucks story for the day. At least now I know what people be talking about and know that I am not missing out on anything. No shade if you actually like your Starbucks holiday drink. It's just, I guess, it's not for me. So, there you have it, guys. The truth about Starbucks. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another Vlogmas video. Stay tuned for tomorrow for another one. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying these videos and give this video a thumbs up if you like having a glimpse into my daily life and are having fun watching my vlogmas videos i love you guys so much stay safe see you tomorrow